In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about the number one question I get asked with my notary business, which is, Avi, what class do you recommend? I've heard a lot about the NNA. I've heard a lot about easy notary class. What do you say? So instead of me having to sit here through an eight minute video and tell you why you should choose one or the other, I thought maybe I would give you a sneak peek one minute clips of each so that you can see for yourself what would work out for you and your budget we're going to be comparing what is included in each of these and how they look like what they sound like what they feel like because each of us has a different learning style so maybe one would work out better for you than the other so in this video we are comparing easy notary class and the national notary association the nna their general notary classes this is the class that teaches you all of the basics in how to do your job as a notary public uh your job in general okay um i think that the one thing that i have discovered as a notary mentor is not knowing the basics just it ruins everything it really does nothing nothing makes sense until the basics are are laid out the foundation is laid out nothing makes sense until that makes sense so hopefully this video will help to sort out some stuff for you and ultimately i think you know what my choice is but I'll let the video speak for itself so we're going to start off with comparing the two different videos first with the nna and then with easy notary class so stay tuned this video here is from the nna a notary public is a person of required honesty credibility truthfulness and integrity appointed by the state of california to serve the public as an impartial witness in performing a variety of acts related to the signing of important documents taking notes and affirmations and performing other acts authorized by law please make a note that your primary function as a notary is to authenticate the identity of the person signing the document you will also verify in some cases that the signer signed or executed the document and in some cases you may need to also administer an oath or affirmation to compel that person in front of you to tell the truth We'll discuss your role as a public servant and impartial witness in a moment, and we'll cover the various notarial acts you're allowed to perform a little This later. next video is from Easy Notary Class. And it turns out they're extremely easy to do and to remember. So the very first thing that we need to do when we notarize documents is that we make sure the signer personally appears. Okay, it's actually as easy as it sounds. Basically, when you're notarizing documents, the person is physically there with you at that time. In other words, you can't do a notary over the phone, you can't do a notary over a webcam or a Zoom. You have to be with that person when you're notarizing. That's the very first thing you need to remember. And it's pretty easy to remember, okay? This stuff is not that complicated. You'll find out soon enough. The second thing that we do every single time we notarize is we check the person's ID. Every time you notarize a document for somebody, you check their ID, and that's it. You ask for a driver's license, you can also ask for a passport, whatever ID they have on them. Now, later on in a different video, I'm going to talk about the different IDs that we're allowed to accept. Like, obviously, you know you can take a driver's license, you know you can take a passport, right? But you're not going to be taking a Disneyland annual membership card, basically. There are certain IDs that we're allowed to take, and I'm going to tell you what those are in a different video. I'm also going to talk about later on... So, you saw the comparison between both. This is what really gets me to go with Easy Notary Class each and every time. It is a speed run. It compiles six hours into 35 minutes. Right. We talked about a lot of information today. I mean, we talked about everything from checking ID to subscribing witness to filling out acknowledgement for the Centurions. I mean, it was a lot of information. So what I want to do now is go through what we like to call the speed run. Now, the purpose of the speed run is to go over everything again. 
but at a very high rate of speed. Now, this sounds crazy. I'm really about to cover six hours of content in such a short amount of time. Yes, that's exactly what we're about to do. And the reason why is that we've discovered that listening and watching this information one time is just not enough. It's fine for getting the first introductory lessons, but I want you to be prepared for the test. So we found that by going through this information a second time and by doing it at a very high rate of speed, then what happens is it gets sunk into your subconscious so that you are ready and prepared for when you take the test. So in comparing Easy Notary class and the National Notary Association, these are the differences. Take your time to look and outweigh them. The first biggest difference I see is obviously the price. But the second thing that catches my eye is how much more is included in the Easy Notary class package compared to the NNA package. You get a whole lot more with Easy Notary class. Plus, if you are interested in getting your notary commission because you want to become a loan signing agent, Easy Notary class has a loan signing class included with the $79 package. It's incredible. All right, you guys, so that was the video comparison between both of these classes. If you are interested in becoming a notary public and you still don't know what class to take for your general notary class, I would highly recommend you go with easy notary class, but ultimately the choice is up to you. Um, you can go back, rewind in this video and look at the snippets of each of the classes and go onto the websites. I do have each of them linked below so that you can see what is included, um, what else you will need in order to become a notary public. I mean, you just need to have your notary commission and you need your E&O insurance. Um, you need your, your notary bond. And if you wanna become a, a loan signing agent, you're gonna need to have your NNA uh, signing agent certification and background um so there's still other things that you would need to take so take that into account before you dive into a class um and yeah just go online and look at other reviews besides this one so hopefully this video and the combination of other videos will help you to see what choice is the better choice for you so my links are below and i hope that this video was helpful have a great one. Bye.